Today, I climbed the tallest mountain in Australia, Mount Kosciuszko, at 2,228 meters. This is merely a hill compared to Mount Everest. But for me as an Aussie, I'd literally never seen mountain ranges this tall in my life. It was crazy to me how grand these mountains were. I'm Austin Both, and I help young men like myself live healthy, confident, and financially free, so there are no constraints to amazing adventures like these. So, you want to subscribe? And yeah, hello, but first, I gotta bang bang the boogie to the Let me take you on this spectacular journey from the ground to the sky. Today's quest begins in Canberra. Alright, time to check out. I checked out of my cheap motel and hit the road to go to Woolworths. Stocking up on fruits such as strawberries and bananas because, to be honest, I had no idea what the hike to Australia's tallest mountain would be like and I was expecting it to take up to 8 hours. So, I've stocked up and now I'm heading to the snowy mountains. Hey, we're on the Monero Highway right now. The town of Threadbow to be exact. Growing up in Australia, I've never seen high plains like this. Compared to Mount Lofty in my hometown Adelaide, these hills were gigantic. These are real mountains. I find myself in Threadbow before too long. After paying a $17 toll to enter the park, and another $17 for the ski lift, I'm going up and up and up to a place called Eagle Nest Lookout. From here, it's a 13 kilometer round trip to the highest point in Australia, on foot. Only problem, it's past midday and the last ski lift down is at 4.30 p.m. All the sites online say the hike takes four to five hours, which is quite a lot. And if I miss the ski lift, the narrow track up the side of the mountain is going to be a real pain to navigate, especially in the dark. This is a piece of cake. I've already done one and a half kilometers and I'm like pretty certain there's a hill over there. Once the ridge flattens out or if it starts going down, I'm going to run. So knowing this, I start to jog a bit because nothing was going to stop me from reaching the top of Kosciuszko after driving for 15 hours to get here. I'm gonna just easy, just easy. I just talked to some nice people on the trail. Said I've done the most difficult bit now, and I'm on the home run. What is four hours? Four hours. Where does that come from? I think it's just because a lot of the people that walk this trail are a bit older. So yeah, I'm. I'm a young fit man, I go to park runs, I'm conquering it, four hours, <laughs> I think, yeah, that's it there, there might be more over the ridge. There's the top of the hill, it's that white line there, the highest point in Australia, but it winds around because there's a valley between me and Mount Kosciuszko right now. I doubt 1.6 kilometers is going to take me 40 minutes. I reckon 1.6 could take me about 20 max. 20 max. If I, I do it in more than 20 minutes, I'll be shocked. I'll probably just be so mad at myself I'll take a cold shower. 20 minutes out from the top of Australia. 20 minutes. And it's that thing up there. Kosciuszko. Stairs. Mount Lofty gets harder than this, especially when you've got a group of mates pushing you up the stairs. Now this is easy. This is like the meanders. You get the ski lift to the first bit. Finally, after one and a half hours of walking, I make it to the top of Mount Kosciuszko and the view puts Mount Lofty to shame. I looked around and realized that this continent was entirely below me right now. Surely, I deserve a like for literally climbing Australia's tallest mountain. Alright, heading back down now. It leaves me with absolute gratitude to live in Australia. We have such a beautiful country. And to my international viewers, I really hope you get the opportunity to come here soon. That's a long way down. Long, long way down. I soon head down the mountain and make my way 
86 kilometers from Threadbow to Charlotte's Pass. When I booked my accommodation there online, I thought it was a 10 minute drive from Threadbow because it's only 7 kilometers away, but in actual fact there's no road that goes directly over the hill, so you have to take a 1 hour detour to a dead end road. From there, I'll have to backtrack into Threadbow for tomorrow's journey into Falls Creek, all worth it of course. Here I am at the Stillwell Hotel, which is the highest altitude accommodation in Australia, at least that I know of. What a spectacular view. That's all I got up to today, but you'll want to watch tomorrow's episode at Fools Creek, which is on the screen now. See you there.